Hey there, Tracy Noriega here, paying it forward to you on this Mindful Monday. Hope it's been a good one for you. So, um, short little tidbit here to be mindful of uh, having a conversation with a friend who uh, was talking about how she's kind of feeling, well, you know, the mundane, the everyday, I know what to expect and I know what's coming next and you know, just falling into patterns and schedules and et cetera, and how life just didn't seem to have much, you know, flavor or flair for her. And one of the things I pointed out was, well, if you want to have a different experience, you need to do something different. <laughs> so, um, you know, maybe do something completely out of the ordinary that you don't do, you know? Um, I said to her, I said, well, hey, how about maybe going somewhere different for lunch or, you know, just deciding to get a group of people or something or go treat yourself to lunch by yourself. And, you know, uh, she admitted she won't go out to eat um, unless she has somebody to eat with her. And I was just like, well, how, why don't you try it? Like, why don't you do it? And just that insecurity of feeling you know a table of one as she was saying and I'm like it's actually quite nice to eat by yourself I go out and do it quite often you know or sit at the bar and talk to the bartender you know or or, or just you know bring a book if you don't know what to do with yourself <laughs> but um you know it just kind of brings up that question sometimes we do tend to fall into our routines and patterns and asking where is that spice of life and it's up to us to you know get the get the spices out and put some in you know um and it brings to mind the saying or the quote from eleanor roosevelt about doing something every day that scares you and uh, that doesn't mean necessarily you have to go and jump out of a plane to have that happen it could be you know like in her instance the eating by herself at a restaurant she's never done it maybe she is a little intimidated or scared by it or you know deciding to i don't know join a club or a group or sign up for a class maybe even by yourself <laughs> and go to it uh, meet new people that way um you know do, doing something outside of the box or maybe something that you've been wanting to do that you just haven't found the time and always instead find excuses not to do it, you know? Um, so it's just one of those things to be mindful of that we really are responsible for the experiences that we have where those, you know, there, there are so many opportunities out there. Let's put it that way, people, um, you know, uh, even just Googling in your area, things to do in, you know, and put in your city. Um, even if you're, low on cash, free things to do in and find a festival, find a little, you know, um, event that's happening. There's tons of things out there and so many ways to make, you know, new friends and contacts and just find out about something you may have an interest in, but just haven't really checked out, you know, um, don't forget your local library. Everyone seems to forget that. I know it's great having, um, <laughs> the internet and Google and Wikipedia and all that stuff. But, you know, you find out about a lot of things going out in your community when you go to the library. And a lot of times there's lots of events happening at the library. I know at ours, there's, you know, knitting and, um, of course, book clubs. Um, they even have the adult coloring, uh, book club, which I was like, okay. I mean, I, I like, I have now found out I like doing that again as I did as a child but I'm not sure about going with a whole bunch of strangers but who knows if you feel lonely and don't want to color by yourself there you go you know um, tons of little classes and things that happen so don't discount your you know your library your community um, you know uh, recreational centers and stuff for art classes for you know learning an intramural sport that you've liked and not, you know, done yoga, etc. So, people, there's tons of things out there. Get off your butt <laughs> and go do it. If you do need a friend to come and be your accountability buddy, then so be it. But 
you know what, maybe do that thing by yourself and uh, be your own best friend and take yourself out on um, a little adventure of sorts. And, uh, you know, if it's cool, then you can invite some other people. So once again, you want a different experience, then you got to do something different, right? Um, as they say, you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you got. So um, go spread those wings and look around. Things are right underneath your nose of opportunities to just expand that vision and discover more about yourself. So don't forget to be your own best friend. Speak kindly and um, wishing you all lots of happiness, joy, love, abundance, and prosperity. And of course, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, and um, everything else that there is under the sun. <laughs> oh yeah, winter solstice too. Cheers, you guys. <laughs>